I'm nervous. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> nervous. This is my first time. This is, well, I've, I've never done a Q&A before. Hey everybody, it's Natasha. I'm Vadim. Of NatashasKitchen.com. This is our first ever Q&A. We've been doing this for a long time, but we have never done a Q&A video. And I asked you if you guys have any burning questions on YouTube and on Instagram, and we had so many questions, like pages and pages and pages of questions. I'm a little bit nervous. Without further ado, we did was we looked at Google to see what is the internet searching for? What do people want to know the most about Natasha's Kitchen? And we got a few interesting questions, so go ahead. <laughs> All right, first question on the list. Is Natasha from Natasha's Kitchen pregnant? Uh, this is the worst. You really had to pick that as the first question. That's not what everyone wants to know. <laughs> but I'm glad they Googled it instead of asking me because uh, I'm just guacamole pregnant, okay? No, no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> How does Natasha's Kitchen make money? Okay. It's basically advertising. So on YouTube, for example, when you see the little ad that comes in through the video, that's how, okay? Eyeballs on the ad. Next one, does Natasha's Kitchen have kids? Yes, of course, we have two kiddos ages six and 12, and they do appear in a lot of our videos, especially in the taste test. So if you're one to stay till the end, that's where the fun starts, okay? Yeah, they do love that part. <laughs> they sure do. What is Natasha's Kitchen? Well, we're in it. This is it. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Natasha's age? Uh, a lady never shares her age. Well, and I still have four years to go until I'm 40, so I'm plenty young. Where is Natasha's Kitchen from? Okay, we are actually both from the same place. Take it away. We're both from uh, Ukraine, uh, just uh, separate cities. That's right. And, fun fact, our parents knew each other when they were teenagers in the same village. How about that? Small world, huh? Small world. Okay, here's probably the most asked question from our audience. Does Natasha's Kitchen have a cookbook? When will you have a cookbook? Would love to know if you plan on ever doing a cookbook. <laughs> yes, and that's kind of our big exciting news for this year. We signed with a publisher this year, and it's the same publisher that does like all the Ina Garten cookbooks and all the amazing like celebrity chefs, and we're so excited. I cannot wait, it's gonna be amazing. So this year, we're working on the cookbook, Lots and lots of recipes, new recipes, so we're busy, busy this year. So yes. the answer is yes. How do you stay slim? <laughs> this is also a commonly asked question. You know, we eat a lot of food, we love to eat. In order to not turn into whales <laughs> together. Are you implying something? Uh, no. We're creatures of habit, so we kind of make the same breakfast over and over and over and over and over. So that helps. And then working out, trying to keep the sweets down, just kind of living a balanced life, I guess. And home cooking definitely helps. In order to not gain weight, we eat everything in moderation. So when I make a chocolate cake, I don't eat the whole cake. Just a big slice, but I also work out. We actually work out together at F45. It's a 45 minute high intensity workout where we're like dripping sweat at the end of it, burning lots of calories, and we do that four days a week, sometimes five. So worth it. I guess that's our secret. It's not really a secret, but we've been doing that for over a year now, and we've noticed results. Although you're still asking if I'm pregnant, so I guess I need to go six days a week. Okay, let's move on. So the most popular question on YouTube was, in your opinion, which expensive tools are overpriced or not worth the hype versus which ones do you believe are totally worth the splurge? Worth the splurge would be a mixer, either a stand mixer or an electric handheld mixer, depending on your budget. Also a really good cutting board, and you know the one we use is Boost Blocks. It's meant to last forever and ever if you take good care of it. And then also knives, really good knives. And I will link to the ones that we use in the notes. I wonder if your husband cooks, and if so, what is your favorite dish that he makes? Okay, my husband, this guy over here, is a really good cook. He makes breakfast like almost every day. <laughs> because I take too long to get ready in the morning and he makes amazing everything. But my favorite thing that he makes is 
by far and away, ceviche. It's like a shrimp salsa. It is so good. <sighs> I'll wait to her heart. That's right. <laughs> Next one, is there anything you can't bake no matter how many times you tried? Okay, so I'm working on croissants. Croissants. And that is like my nemesis. I can make them and they taste really good, but they still get that little butter pool at the bottom. And if they're not amazing, I can't share them. So I'm just gonna keep working on them. How tall are you in centimeters? Oh my gosh. Wow. Show it to me. Somebody really wants to know. 65 inches. 65 inches. Oh, I'm growing. 165.1 centimeters. Do you ever do any cook once, serve twice meals? Or maybe freeze your meals specifically? Yes. <laughs> I'm a mom, so of course, we like to cook ahead as much as possible and repurpose leftovers. One cool trick that my late boss taught me, Pearl, she told me to add in something fresh when you're reheating and it transforms your dish. So definitely, I love soups. That's probably my favorite make ahead dish. And things like lasagna, stuffed pasta shells, tons of things on our site that are freezer friendly and make ahead because that's reality. <laughs> I do like to make uh, overnight oats and I'll make them pretty much twice a week. Mm, overnight oats are amazing, so easy. I'll leave a link to the recipe in the notes. You guys have to try that one. Are you the only cook in the house or do your kids cook as well? Everybody cooks. <laughs> my kids are like budding little chefs. My daughter loves to help me and my son's always coming up with really good clever ideas. He's so creative. He makes a really good Alfredo sauce pasta that he's, it's like on repeat and he's mastered it and he's so proud of himself when he cooks. You have some amazing recipes. Do you go to culinary school? Nope. A lot of it was self-taught. Things that I learned from my mom, from my mother-in-law, from cookbooks. I did go to college, okay? I went to nursing school and business school, and I graduated with everything except culinary. <laughs> but it's just something that we learned along the way, constantly grew and improved. We've been doing this for many years now, and I'm just type A. I have to get the details correct, so that's why, thank you. What inspired you to start your YouTube platform to begin with? I think about how I would love to learn to cook a recipe and that's what we wanted to recreate. We started actually just taking photos of every single step in the process and I still do that sometimes because I can't help myself. We figured I love to learn by watching videos and that's just exactly how I love to create my content. And most of the people are visual learners yes. so that was the answer to that. How do you memorize a recipe in your mind, like a simple recipe like chocolate chip cookies? I don't, <laughs> especially baking. I always pull up the recipe and there is no shame in that. I mean, who's gonna memorize how much baking soda goes into a recipe unless you make it every day? That's just not practical. So when I film, I have my recipe printed right there in front of me. I don't memorize. I make your ricotta pancakes all the time, so I master it by now in memory. All right, question number 5,687. Uh, how long does it take for you to film, edit, and put a voiceover in your videos from start to finish? At least two full working days. Probably start shooting before noon. Yes. Done by two, three o'clock. Before the kids get home from yes, school. That's, that's our goal. That's the goal. I work little by little on a daily basis to put the video together. Two days to come up with an eight to 10 minute video. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, but we love it. So we're gonna keep on keeping on, right? <laughs> That's right. What's the one kitchen gadget you can't be without? Burning question. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth, huh? But if you're really asking about a gadget, I would say a really good knife. Have you always been so bubbly and happy with a great sense of humor, or were you shy at one time? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I used to be so shy that I thought nobody would marry me, and that's the truth. I don't know when it kind of, when I blossomed, maybe in college, I don't know. I guess I was totally shy, and I still am kind of an introvert. When did you start cooking? It was actually after we got married. My mom spoiled us growing up. She followed my grandma's saying of their time will come and she just kind of spoiled us and didn't make us do much. So 
I learned after I got married, and that's okay. <laughs> came a long way. Huh? We came a long way, that's right. Do you take inspiration from Ukrainian kitchen to make new recipes? Yes. I mean, there's definitely a thread of Ukrainian vibes and flavors throughout our cooking, I would say, no matter what we're doing. And if you put dill on anything, you automatically makes it Ukrainian. Yeah, if you want to make something Ukrainian, just throw some dill at it. <laughs> That's so true. Next question, will you do a workout routine video? <laughs> Remember COVID 2020? Yeah, workout routine video. No, <laughs> sorry. How many languages do you speak? Like super fluently, I can speak English. I can speak some Ukrainian, but it's like a mix of Ukrainian, Russian, it's if I need to, to save my life, I can, but normally I don't speak it in everyday life, so I feel like I'm losing it a little bit. <laughs> Busted. Do you enjoy living in Idaho? I do. Somebody wrote from the North Carolinian is who wrote that question. I suspect they want me to move to North Carolina. Yes, I totally love living in Idaho. This is the place that I hope to never move from. A lots of outdoor activities and very family friendly. Yes. Next question, do you have a cookbook bookshelf and what are your favorite cookbooks? Oh yes, I do, come here. <laughs> I have so many favorites and I've just been collecting cookbooks over the years. This is an amazing resource for me, a, a place where I get inspiration. I'd say my number one go-to was the book that my late boss gave me when I got married. It was a wedding gift, and that is The Joy of Cooking. All-time favorite, amazing resource. Every household should have one. And when I have my own, it will be my cookbook. Also, what are your favorite childhood food memories? Mom's potato pierogies with sour cream and bacon and sauteed onions. Mm. Oh. We do have a recipe now for those. My favorite would be uh, potato pancakes. And we grew up pretty much in a potato country. <laughs> That's true, and my, my favorite was a potato recipe too. How funny. Next question, have you ever made a recipe that you did not like? There is like a whole string of recipes. When I was pregnant with crazy food aversions, but I still had to keep cooking. Still, to this day, when I go back and look at those pictures, which I avoid, it kind of makes me a little nauseous. What's your favorite kind of food to make? Lunch, desserts, I would say it will have to be some sort of uh, seafood. Shrimp. Huh. Lobster. Yes. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> you know me well. Next question, what's your favorite late night go-to snack? <laughs> we already talked about this and that's ceviche. That's like a snack and dinner all mixed into one. Can't get enough. Guacamole is a close second. How do you get your one eyebrow to move like that? <laughs> it's a skill that I have. I can also move my ears. I know what you're thinking. Oh my goodness. Got myself an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I got myself an elf. Thanks. I would love to know what your favorite recipe is and also when and how you became a Christian. Favorite recipe to make? Meatball soup, because my kids love it. Yes. Yes. I make that probably the most of all the things I cook. Are you sure you make that the most, or yeah. I, I make it the most? We make it the most. <laughs> all right, and then when and how did I become a Christian? Actually, I was born into a Christian family. It's just a part of who I am and a very important part of my life. It's the center of who I am. It's It kind of guides everything I do. It's my moral compass, it's my joy, my peace. It's part of why I'm so happy all the time. <laughs> we have something to be happy about. It's uh, like a ribbon that runs through everything. My husband has the same story. Where are you from? I don't know why I feel like uh, you have an Indian background. I have been asked this many times. <laughs> Somebody sent me a picture of an Indian celebrity and apparently I look like them. That's really sweet, but no, actually I'm from Ukraine and I have no Indian background, but thank you for the compliment. One day you'll make an Indian dish. <laughs> One day I will make an Indian dish. We actually had several questions about that and requests. I'm on it. Did you grow up in Ukraine? 
Now, I was born in Ukraine and I moved here when I was four and a half. So I don't remember anything from Ukraine. Basically, my whole life has been here. And I was 14 and a half, so I do remember. You're beautiful. Is that from you or from? Both. Oh. What do you order at McDonald's? Somebody actually <gasps> seen you there, huh? Oh, somebody must have seen me in the drive-thru at Mickey D's. I used to work at McDonald's. That was my first job. It lasted a good three months and I lost my ride to work, so I had to quit. Do we throw your sister under the bus? <laughs> no, we should not throw my sister under the bus, <laughs> whose fault it was. But I still crave their cheeseburger every now and then. I don't know, it's like this naughty thing. Do you ever miss nursing job? No, I don't. I, long story. Okay, I became a nurse. Then I became a food blogger. Nursing was my practical route and I loved it when I did it. I love the like caring for people aspect, but this by far and away is what I was made to do. This is my dream job. I totally love it. And no, I don't regret it because this is what I was meant to do. How do you stay so motivated to cook at home daily? I don't. I don't cook at home daily, okay? that's. A lot of people think that I just cook all day long. I don't. We batch things. We have our cooking days and we also have our office days. This job actually requires a lot of being at the computer because I have to type things out. I have to research. There's so much that goes into it that there's no way that I could just be in the kitchen all the time, even though that's my favorite part. We also have sushi around the corner and we have <laughs> canned chicken, canned tuna in a pantry. <laughs> Your love story, please. Love story. I feel like we could make a book for that one, but let's answer it quickly, shall we? We met at our church youth's car wash. He came over to get his car washed, and I was like, hey! <laughs> Just Is that kidding. What no. <laughs> we fell in love, and then we got married. Oh, that was really condensed. <laughs> it's too long. That needs its own video. If you guys want your its own video, let me know in the comments. Next question, when will you have your own cooking TV show? Maybe if the opportunity came up and Food Network came knocking on my door, I would open. But we'll see what the future has in store. I love that we have our own cooking channel on YouTube. It just gives us so much like creative freedom. We can do whatever we want. All right, next question. What did Vadim do before? I work at retail and I sold cell phones. Do you miss it? I do miss my coworkers. But now you have me as a coworker. <laughs> You're like, Wah! Okay. What do you do with all the food you cook? We eat it. Actually, if it's a lot, if I'm doing a lot of recipe development, like donuts. the neighbors benefit and our family benefits, but it always gets eaten. We don't throw things away. Next one's for you, dear. How do you keep the spark in your marriage? I do everything to please you and you can help it and you return the favor. That's true. We love each other. I don't know, anytime you focus on something, it gets better, right? If you focus on your marriage, it gets better. We give each other time, we give each other focus, and uh, we love each other. How do you manage to be so happy all the time? I'm not happy all the time, just most of the time. <laughs> You gotta be, you gotta be somewhat animated for a video, right? I like to have fun. I love to make people laugh. So here we are. <laughs> and just the two of us in the kitchen. So That's you can true. really be yourself. You can be yourself. You can be a little silly. Not a question, but a request. Please never stop singing the Natasha's Kitchen .com. That's, com. That's cute. Natasha's Kitchen .com. <laughs> I think that's what they meant. You have to do that. <laughs> they have to. Part. Well, it's like come, you know. Is your current house your forever home? I hope so. There's already so many memories in this house, even though we've only been here for what three years? Three and a half. Three and a half. I love it here. Our kids love it here. They go to a good school. We have nice neighbors. I kind of hope it is. Also, I don't want to move. It's so much work. If you weren't a blogging couple, what would your carriers be? I think it's careers. Our carriers would probably still be with Verizon. It's okay, you'll recover. We always had a desire to work for ourselves, you know, with our regular work. 
-hmm. maybe doing some sort of side hustle. Even before this blog, there was a lot of side hustles. We were both realtors at one point. How hard was it to take the leap from real estate to Natasha's Kitchen full time? Real estate was while I was in school, kind of to pay for school and life. And then the leap was from nursing to Natasha's Kitchen. True. That was a little bit harder, but we transitioned gradually. So I went down in hours as the blog grew and eventually it just didn't make sense to be a nurse anymore because this just like <laughs> snowballed. I quit first. That's true. He's, he quit first so he could stay home with our son and then I quit after that. So gradual. Favorite holiday, favorite color? <laughs> oh, that's easy. I know that one. Uh, Christmas. I'm already looking forward to next Christmas. I said that as soon as our decorations went down and in all seriousness, okay, I was warning people six months ago that Christmas was coming. Did anybody listen? No. And now look where we are. Favorite color, purple. Always and forever. I love it. I think that's all the questions we can squeeze in. <laughs> These are just the ones that we thought we could manage. <laughs> there were so many hundreds and hundreds of questions. I think we were way overdue to do this Q&A video. People are so curious about the strangest things. I love it, keep those questions coming. I'm sorry if we missed your question, if we were able to squeeze it in. Let me know in the comments below if you have another question for us that we didn't cover and I will do my best to answer. We're super excited for the cookbook this year again. Stay tuned for that. I will be posting updates and sharing things about the process. I feel so blessed to be able to have that opportunity and I cannot wait to share it with you all. Thanks for joining us in natashaskitchen.com! We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> see you in our next video.